Did life commit suicide on Mars? Martian bugs, hydrogen eating, methane producing microbes could have destroyed themselves, commend suicide, if you will, if they ever existed on Mars. Yet some scientists now think that indeed may have been the case. We're about to get all into that. Hello, this is Greg Allison with Galactic Gregs. So let's find out about Mars. <laughs> Life on Mars, committing suicide of all things. Yikes. French scientists say on Monday that the environment on ancient Mars may have been suitable for the development of subterranean world teeming with microscopic creatures. The researchers came to this conclusion that if the a primitive life forms had existed, they would have drastically changed the atmosphere and brought about a Martian ice age before their extinction. Now, <laughs> the results present a depressing picture of how the universe functions. Boris Sautery, who is currently a postdoctoral researcher at the Sorbonne University and is the study's principal author. Now, he claimed that life, even primitive life forms like bacteria, might actually commonly cause its own demise. Now, that should make one pause to ponder. Well, wow. the findings are a bit gloomy, but I think they're also stimulating the upon. They challenge, they challenge us to rethink the way a biosphere and its planet interact. Hmm. Sautery and his team utilize climate and terrain models to assess the habitability of the Martian crust. Four billion years ago, when the red planet was assumed to be drenched in water and far more hospitable than it is now, according to this study published in the Journal of Nature Astronomy. They speculated that hydrogen methane producing bacteria may have thrived just beneath the surface, then protected more than adequately from the harsh incoming radiation by several inches, a few tens of centimeters of dirt. According to Sautery, these organisms might have been abundant anywhere on Mars that uh, was not covered in ice, much as they were on early Earth. Of course, you know, a lot of our life on Earth was just a few inches under the water, and there he's assuming under the soil. However, Sautery noted that the amount of hydrogen being drawn out of the thin carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere would have put the apparently humid warm environment of early Mars in jeopardy. Any organisms at or near the surface would have submerged deeper in an effort to live as temperatures drop by 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, a, a negative 200 degrees centigrade almost. Wow, guys, that is drastic. In contrast, given the nitrogen-dominated uh, atmosphere, the researchers hypothesized that bacteria on Earth may have contributed to the preservation of temperate temperatures. So what they're saying is that the hydrogen left the atmosphere of both Earth and this uh, Martian planet. And on Mars, it may had a different effect than on Earth because on Earth, the nitrogen atmosphere uh, moderated it and it wasn't the nitrogen and the uh, Martian atmosphere. So uh, it was a carbon dioxide atmosphere and the chemistry being different had different effects kind of mind-boggling to think of hydrogen as being a greenhouse gas, but it, it may have had more to do with the amount of it and take getting out of the atmosphere and the atmosphere itself getting thinner. Maybe that's what they're referring to. Now, there is a different school of thought on this, though. Paul Levin, he led, he led a different research study that claimed Mars was wet at birth and had warm waters for millions of years. His team came to the conclusion that at the time the atmosphere would have been dense and primarily hydrogen, hydrogen acting as a heat trapping greenhouse gas that eventually was transferred to higher altitudes and lost to space. Why? Well, hydrogen is a light gas. It's going to go up and eventually it has uh, been thought for a long time that hydrogen will be lost to space. So I definitely get that conclusion. That seems a little bit 
easy to follow, knowing the nature of hydrogen. How in the world would a uh, planet really hang on to hydrogen for long? It's always been a question that I've heard. Uh, anyway, according to Paul, Paul Evan, he said that this uh, French study did not take into account the previous periods because it focused on climate effects of potential microbes when Mars atmosphere was dominated by carbon dioxide. He added, whatever the study, it does make clear, however, that uh, if this life were present on Mars during this early period, they would have, it would have had a major influence on the prevailing climate. So Sautry is going to get on to his next task, which is to investigate the likelihood that there might have been microorganisms deep within Mars. And apparently these guys are working uh, with a lot of the probes and rovers on Mars. So we shall see. Anyway, it's just kind of a fun thing to speculate about. Uh, could there have been life on Mars? Did life on Mars commit suicide? Personally, I kind of think the <laughs> I kind of think Sautry was more close to it that uh, now, nah, you know, this hydrogen is going to get away anyway, but I could be wrong. Time will tell. That's why we're sending the probes up there to dig around and probe and find out what they can. And hopefully we'll have boots on the ground and within my lifetime and people will have some answers. We'll find out. With that, I'm going to say thank you for watching and Greg out.